Hey, sweetie, can you hear me? <laughs> That's fantastic. Everything is going according to plan. After six months, seeing you and memorizing the time you wake up, what time you take the bus, how long you spend sitting, doing your work, how long it takes you to have lunch. I even know what kind of books you use to complete your works. And wait, you can't see me. Oh. Don't be in a hurry, darling. Take some time for your eyes to adjust to the beautiful darkness of the night. I mean, I'm surprised because I'm right in front of you. Wow, look out. You almost fell off your chair. I really would have worried a lot because I don't want to hurt that beautiful body of yours, honey. Well, that might sound a bit hypocritical because your hands are tied. <laughs> but don't worry, I didn't tie you up too tight. Now, can you see me? Oh. That's <laughs> finally, after weeks and months, we finally see each other face to face. Beautiful. Do you remember me? Wait, you don't remember me? Oh, what an idiot I am. Of course you don't remember me if I haven't introduced myself to you yet. Let me refresh your memory a bit. I'm Abigail. Ah, did you forget about me? But if we were classmates during high school, well... I don't blame you. During those years, I never had many friends, and I didn't associate with other people either. But since then, I started to feel something for you. Yes, if it weren't for that, I wouldn't have developed my wonderful plan for us to finally meet again. Yeah, I know. I'm a brilliant mind, right? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I've never felt this way about a person before. So during our last year together, as partners, I was thinking about the way I would declare my infinite love for you. But just when I was going to do it, I had to move to the city. That disappointed me. But back then, the school year was ending, so I didn't have many options. Because of that, I was repressing my emotions for many time. Distant, cold, not very empathetic. That was what people said about me. But one day, I was tidying in my room, and I found our yearbook for that year. So I started to review it. There, they were all. Do you remember Jack, the math genius of the class? Now he lives four hours from here, in a trailer. <laughs> so pathetic. Or what about Penny, the star cheerleader of our grade? Now she lives in Europe as a yoga teacher. That wretch 
It makes a very good living, you know? Oh, and don't forget to... Wait, I think I'm going too far. Sorry, sweetie. And then I saw your name and your photo. I, I can't describe the emotions I felt upon seeing you again. You're so beautiful now. I mean, you always were. But now, you look like a deity. Those eyes, that nose, the shape of your ears, the smell of your hair, the way you breathe, the look you have now. Everything about you is absolute perfection. <laughs> the truth is that I could talk all night about each and every one of the positive aspects that you have. But I have to tell you at once about the reason why um, I have you locked up. Sorry, I didn't know what words to use. Yes, that was it. Words. <laughs> so I have a proposal for you. That you cannot refuse. Say you will be mine forever. And I'll spoil you as much as you want. Yes, you heard right, darling. I will buy you the things you want. I will prepare your favorite meals. I will take you to a thousand and one dates. You will treat it like a person of royalty. If in exchange, you stay with me. Hey, I also understand that you've been having problems with your life, right? Don't try to hide it from me. I know everything. I know it. Don't worry, darling. I'm here for everything, even if a problem is small for me, it can be big for you, so don't hesitate to tell me if something is wrong. <laughs> I'm glad you accept my help. You want to ask me something? Go ahead. This place is not my house, but it really is my house, silly, I mean, this is the shed, but my house is really big and comfortable for two people, living room, two bathrooms, kitchenette, heating for the winter, it is a really nice house. Where did I get the money for this house? Oh, don't worry. This house was abandoned a few years ago. So I took possession of it. And I did all the paperwork so that this house is now in my name. Did you think I had murdered someone to keep their house? Hey, I may be a stalker. But I'm not a murderer. But hey, I think it's better if I untie your hands and you check it out for yourself, okay? Nice, just let me undo this knot. And that's it. Come, take my hand. I'll guide you. So, what do you think of the house? Is it cozy? Yeah, I knew you would love it. Look at the 
that fireplace. Perfect for not getting cold in winter. And what about the sofa? Big and soft. It's also your favourite colour. And look, I recently bought a futon so we can be together and relax without thinking about anything. And on top of that, wait, it's 2am. Wow, (laughs) we seem to have lost track of time. I knew it. I knew it would take you a while to wake up. But I didn't know that we'd be up so late. So, that's okay with you. I'll take you to your room so you can sleep. Alright, follow me. (laughs) Well, we are here at Ta-da! Your new room. I tried to exactly replicate your bedroom so you don't miss it too much, but with a few improvements, for example, now your bed is twice as big as yours, and your closet is also twice as big as yours, so you won't have any trouble putting your things away. Now, would you allow me to come in you, in your bed? Why? Because I recently found out that you were having trouble sleeping. So, I had a better idea that I could be your bear. Thank you. Don't worry. I won't do anything. The most important thing for me is your comfort, sweetie. Is that your pajamas? You look gorgeous. It suits you very well. Well, everything suits you, darling. Okay, close those beautiful eyes for me. Baby. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow is a new day.